I'm still not 100% convinced that's right. Okay, here's another decal. Oh, there's a third. Okay, thank you very much. There's a third slide. There's Scooby and the gang. And then we got a third slide over here. Hard to see where those begin. Okay, that does it for that sheet. Alright, so then in theory, if you're turning this on, well, it's hard to see with this camera, but I can see live that um, you can see the image being lit up on the front. But what about this other thing? Oh, okay, I think I correct. Okay, yeah. Perhaps what's going on here is this kind of thing. It's like a holder for these slides. We'll assume that, revise later, if we have to. Okay, so moving on in accessories, we also have a hot dog. Maybe the hot dog will be easy to put to get. Oh, the hot dog's in here. Put the figures. I saw it. There's one part of it, and there's another. Okay, so <laughs> one of the easier parts to put together. A hot dog. There actually is a hole on the underside of it on each side. So lining up that hole with the little pegs. I don't hear a snap, but I believe it went in there. And it's got that on the side, probably for a figure to hold it. And then this right here. Uh, da, 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 da. There's this guy. And I see a slice of pizza. It already has a decal on it. Is that this? Oh, yeah, okay. That's a handle for that camera, right? Yeah, every mystery solving gang needs a camera and that looks like that can enable the figure to hold on to it. And then this, a cup in a top. Cup in a top. You just put that top on there. Okay, it's got a straw. In another cup and a top. Blue. Okay, let's put these figures together. Freddy gets his um, collar. open up a little bit. Does it open up enough without breaking? <laughs> there you are, Freddy. It looks a little weird because the ascot is painted on and the collar is um, overlapping it. Okay, that's Freddy and his collar. Daphne, you got to put your skirt on. That is the part in the back. Looks like from, uh, oh, huh, 
Okay, here's the part in the front, part in the back. Looks like they do fit together. So you put the part on the back, lift your arms up. That clicked in. Yay! <laughs> Adorable. And then we got this, the scarf around her neck. Strange, but okay. Valma, you've got a similar thing going on with your skirt and a collar that goes on. Let's see if we got a front or back to this. They look the same. not make sense. That does not make sense. This does not compute. Huh. You can tell which is the top and which is the bottom. Wow, it's like I've got two of the same part on the skirt and they do not seem to fit together. You see what I'm saying here? Is it possible that they don't have the right set of parts here. No, I just really don't think there's any way to make these fit together. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, just gonna have to go without your skirt, Velma, for the moment, but we will put your collar on. A turtleneck. <laughs> Cute. Um, and then we've got a number of other accessories here. We have a tray. We have a donut <laughs> to put in the tray. We've got a flashlight. A magnifying glass. There's the donut. We've got that slice of pizza I mentioned. Oh, and we've got that too pictured there. It's a map. It's a map to the scene of the crime. And that is all it is in the booklet. Okay, with that last page of accessories, I am going to put this back in here. That fits in like that. As far as how this goes in there, it's not clear, not really a place for it, so I can set it on the floor of the van. And, oh yeah, cup holders, right? Okay, so I'm looking at this bench seat, but those cups do not fit in there. Oh, actually the cups probably could fit in there. So what you could do, put the cups in there. Let's put Freddie in the driver's seat, because that typically, he's the one that seems to be driving the mystery machine. Is it going to fit in there? Oh wow, okay, I'm going to show you in a second. Um, he wouldn't fit in there unless you turn the steering wheel. There's a cutout part of the steering wheel. Turn that so it's facing down. And then 
put Freddie in there with his legs under that. Okay, let's put Daphne next to him in the front seat. Okay, and oh gosh, are you counting so far as to how many times I've done it? Oh, this door works too. Oh, I love that. Okay, I'm going to show that to you too. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave the front or the top panel off for a second. But this door slides out like that. That is so fun. That is nice. Okay, so they can get into the mystery machine that way. And it clicks. Um, I'll show that too. It's kind of nice how it clicks back over like that. All right, and I guess the rest of this stuff, what was this? What was that? I do not see that anywhere in the booklet. No, I don't know what that, Oh, 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 yes. Yes. Um, oh, okay, what's kind of, oh, cups just fell out. That's kind of weird. And, but I'm thinking this is an antenna. Oh, yeah, okay. So, put this back on, whichever way it was supposed to go, with the handles closer to the back of the van, okay, and then it shows the antenna going like this, supposed to, it really is supposed to, Ugh. there we go, okay, got that in. What else am I missing here? I'll put the cups back in there. They fell out. Uh, da, 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 da. What else do we have down here that we might want to put in place? This gizmo. Oh. <laughs> Take the top off again. I'm still finding something or trying to find something to fit in those mysterious... Um, little cubby holes that look like cup holders on the orange bench seat, but I'm not seeing anything that fits. All right, so um, there's an extra one of these. Maybe that's just if you lose one of those red things at the um, the bottom of the seat. So I'm just going to throw that in there. And then the rest of the accessories we can just put in the tray. I can put the tray in the back of the van. Um, Velma's skirt, we still can't put on her. Put this on the front. Make sure I get it right. Don't want to break anything. Okay, great. And we're going to put this. Actually, what we're going to do first is place a few of these things in here. Got our tray with lots of handy dandy stuff, including the Scooby Snacks. And yes, I do need to try to put that decal on. I will work that still, because I know it can happen. In fact, I'll leave that out to do that. Because it does still have that sticky part on it. Um, let's set this tray down in here. Set that down in there. There's lots of little things for a kid to play with. So that's fine. Like a little few pieces and parts. This evidently was just a tool. So we'll leave that aside. We'll put the map in there. Got extra stickers for your notebook or whatever, right? Oh, Velma. Um, put you back there. Now, do you know what's missing here? <laughs> There's just one thing missing. Have you caught on? <laughs> There's no canine. But, you know, maybe they're going off to pick them up at the vet or something. Okay. Um, 
little parent. Doesn't quite fit into. It slides off of there really nice. Just want to make sure it's fitting on. Okay, so <laughs> I think what we have here is a completed mystery machine. Are you still awake? <laughs> This is also from Playmobil. This is 22 pieces as opposed to 72, so I'm thinking maybe it won't be as long. Again, the age range is the same, parents. This is for age 5 plus. There are small parts that could be a choking hazard for younger children. Uh, so let's take a look at what we have on the box. It shows what comes with this item. Got a ghost. So we got a, like a bad guy. Wow, we get a bad guy in this one. And a few other things, a hamburger, some Scooby snacks, things like that. On the bottom, you've got all of the legal verbiage and indicia. It's a glow-in-the-dark ghost. Oh, that is so fun. All right, so let's set aside our mystery machine items. And let's concentrate this time on... The Scooby and Shaggy set. This is an out-of-the-box experience like last time. So um, thank you to my friend Mike who has graciously lent us both of these play sets to open on camera. Actually the top flap was probably not the way to go. Um, side flap, I think. Sorry Mike, mangling your box. You told me I could. Um, there's one bag. Okay, we're going to set that aside, and we've got, oh, another sticker. Okay, so great. Look at what we got going on here. We've got a sticker of Scooby, Shaggy, and the bad guy in this set, whereas in the other set, last time, you saw the stickers of the other three. <laughs> so we've got a complete set of stickers now, which is very cool. Got a couple decals. More Scooby Snack decals. And we've got a booklet. Oh, and it shows the other products. Little we'll both figures. Um, a lot of advertising on this. You can see what else is offered in the product line. I'm hoping that there's very little instruction in here. Please go easy on me. I'm not a kid. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. That looks awesome. <laughs> that looks amazing. Okay. Um, city life, family fun, country. There's just a lot of stuff here. Okay, so I guess this is an advertising booklet. This is not. Oh, look at that dollhouse. That's so sweet. This is not an instruction booklet. That would be this thing over here. about Scooby-Doo in different languages. There's the picture of what we opened up last time. And then this set. And there's other figures in the set, too. There's all kinds of bad guys. And these look very similar to what you saw in the very original series back in 1969, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Yeah, looks like some of these guys are at least inspired by, if not straight off, that first season and a half. All right, so I don't see a whole lot of instruction here. Thank you. So maybe we can wrap this up in less than four or five hours. <laughs> okay, there's the glow-in-the-dark ghost sheet. Ghost head. We've got shaggy. Bad guy. And we've got everybody's favorite canine. Everybody's favorite Great Dane, anyways. I know who my favorite beagle is. And I don't know what underdog is, but... Is he a beagle, too? I don't know. Um, okay. I'm going to take the rest of these items out of here. This is a bag that goes aside. We've got some smaller parts in here. And we've got part of a hamburger. <laughs> in here. Oh, we've got another one of those slides. If you watched last time, 
you saw that there were three of those in the set with the mystery machine. So we've got a fourth one here, and I can see that's why they gave us this decal to go on that. All righty, Scooby. Scooby has got part of a collar to do a little bit of assembly on. I see part of a collar here. I see part of a collar here. Set those items down. Where'd my scuba duber dick go? And according to that, oh wow, okay, I think. Okay, so you might not be able to see it in the camera. There is a little SD imprint on the one side of this. Adorable. Make sure that this is right. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if I've got this. So put that on them. Okay, I can see how that goes. Very easy on and easy off. Just fits like that. Then it shows this thing. Strangely enough, like a stand. I'm standing up. I guess his tail. Oh, does his tail move? Yeah, his tail can move up like that. Then he can stand up. Oh, okay. I think, yeah, I think this is basically the idea. It's a stand. Okay. Um, next is Bad Guy. Which, as the diagram shows... You slide up like that, right? And then he's got a little thing for his collar. Yeah, like that. Huh. I guess it doesn't matter where his... Yeah, his arms are not going to fit into these parts of the sheet or anything like that. And then uh, the top goes on. Am I going to click, too? No, I think it's just going to set there, right? Oh, nope, there is something inside there that is going to fit on this part of his head. So we should get a click. Oops. Possibly. Or maybe it just fits on. Yep, there was a little bit of a click there. Okay, so the ghost is ready to menace people. And Let's try doing the Scooby Snacks on, it's a green bag this time. We saw different colors like tan and, uh, was it blue on the other one? For the mystery machine and now we've got a green bag of Scooby Snacks. The other one off there. Sweet! They gotta have their Scooby Snacks, and while we're at it, let's grab this decal off of here for this slide. put it on upside down because I was noting in the last video that there are little slots at the top that you can see fit in this part of um, this top part with the little slides. 
little um, notches or part where it turns. Okay, that's a ghost. That's this guy. <laughs> you probably can't see it in the camera, but it's showing this guy <laughs> like they're investigating the bad guy. We got hamburger buns. Setting that aside. And we got a hamburger patty. Oh, we got like the lettuce and tomato thing going on too. Okay. Let's see if this clicks in like that. And one of these has that part. Oopsie. That goes in there. Am I going to get a click? Yeah, nope, just kind of fits on. And then you've got these three pegs here that are going to fit into the bottom part of the bun. Nice! <laughs> that looks like a juicy burger! Okay, and that was that part. Scooby Snacks we did, Slide we did, this thing we did not do. String this. Okay, so that just comes off, and we've got a string. It's actually kind of stretchy, I think. Um. Oh, and I think you knot the end. Let me see. Both of the ends are the same, but you string one through. And then I'm gonna have to knot it, which I will do real quick. Try to knot it all the way down the end of it. Okay. Um, I knotted it once. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Let's see if that's enough. Oh, nope, it's not. So I'll probably have to knot it a couple times. Make it a thicker knot. Kind of takes me back to my bead stringing days. Okay. That's basically going to do it. Okay, and then the other side. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I think it's the same concept. So, you string that through like that. I guess. Is it weird though? And is it something that Shaggy hangs on to? Yeah. I mean, forgive me. I am not a kid looking at all of this stuff and a kid's like, oh yeah, that's a such and such and you do a such and such. So... Sorry, you're not getting that quality of service today. <laughs> you got the B team on this. I'm not even a parent. Okay. Kids always know this stuff better. All right. Is that kind of the deal with that gizmo? Comment below if you know more. I'm open to that. There was a flashlight here somewhere. Did I see a flashlight? It shows a flashlight. Ah, yes, thank you. I did not want a missing part. That's a tragedy. <laughs> Now Shaggy can hang on to that, which is very cute. That is just adorable. Okay, so Shaggy and Scooby, we need to get you into the mystery machine so y'all can ride together. I am putting Velma back in this back seat. And yes, she is in her undies. If you saw the last episode, you saw that her skirt actually does not fit together. So 
we'll forgive that for a moment. And um, Scooby-Doo can take this other bench seat that's down there. We're going to put this in there. I'm going to put the hamburger in there. We'll put that next to Shaggy. Scooby Snacks. And um, put Scooby on this other seat back here. Oh, and then this thing. Um, this is what I mentioned that holds these slides, and there was an extra slot for it, so that makes a lot of sense. We're going to put this in here. Okay. Put that in the back. We'll throw the stand in for good measure. And we'll lay Scooby down. But we got the whole gang in there now. Okay. We are almost done. I'm going to pause this, be right back. And we're back. I am not going to lie when I say that this was extremely difficult. Do you see how there is like a tissue thin <laughs> backing on this sticker? And this was from the previous episode. I was able to put one of the decals on one side of the purple um, bag of Scooby Snacks. But the other one, I peeled off like more than I meant to on the sheet, and so it had something on the backing, and it was almost impossible to separate that. But we've now <laughs> separated it, and we could write this wrong. So that is the right way up. And we've got that decal on. We will drop it into the van. The van is now 100% complete, and they are going to solve that mystery, and they're going to find out who that guy is. And so, you know, a kid could even be playing with this, and it's like, oh, it's so-and-so. I knew it. <laughs> that is so fun, right? <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, hours of enjoyment for your kid or yourself if you're a Scooby fan, I guess all ages. So thanks for watching. It's been a lot of fun. Special thanks once again to my friend Mike for providing these very fun items to open up on camera. Keep it tuned to BRB TV for more terrific TV toys.